just when it comes to the heart in general, because I don't have the statistics in front of me, so I wanted to ask you, is, is heart failure and heart attacks pretty much now kind of the number one cause of death, uh, world-renowned, yeah. or at least in the United States, yeah. or is it kind of up there at the top? Pretty much so. So, okay. you know, if, you, so if you take per- cardiovascular disease and cardiovascular deaths, if you take all cancer deaths combined and you add all chronic respiratory deaths, there's still more deaths from cardiovascular disease. Um, so it, it's a bear. Wow. It's, it's the biggest bear. Uh, and, you know, that's sort of leading worldwide, certainly in the United States. Uh, and, you know, that's not even counting sort of allied conditions. So if you add in stroke, then the numbers are even higher. Um, and, of course, a lot of those statistics sure. capture death, but you could have a big heart attack. You now have awful congestive heart failure and your life is ruined, but you're alive. And so you don't even get caught in that statistic, right? So it, it's a massive problem. And, and you know, we only see ourselves getting busier and and more demand because it's it's a big problem so do you find the cause of this problem over time has gotten worse and do you think it's more like or is it just a combination of like bad diets because i feel like over time that that diets played a key in this like the worsening of the food and the diet probably but yeah. then also genetic issues kind of like what i had found out with me what do yeah. you find or do you find there's one area or it's just a combination of everything yeah so that's a fascinating question and it and it definitely is a changing landscape right so so the original classic yeah. at risk cardiovascular person was <clears throat> sort of an older male he was a smoker and had high cholesterol and you know high stress, no exercise. That was like your classic uh, picture. And you know this was the days when doctors used to advertise cigarettes. <laughs> You'd have these ad- advertisements for camel cigarettes with a doctor <laughs> smoking and he's dead. You know these like ridiculous old times. Now, in fairness, in fairness, the old research also only focused on men. Right. So women were sometimes excluded and ignored in the in the data. So, you know, with that in mind, but that was your classic at risk. Now, contemporary risk is definitely changing. So we're seeing far fewer smokers. We're seeing more women. And again, maybe that's recognition. Maybe it is more women, but either which way, more women. We're definitely seeing younger people for sure. And what's also interesting is, you know, you mentioned this thing about diet. 100% 100% our diet uh, source has become poisoned, right? The well is poisoned. And, and what people are eating and how people are eating has changed dramatically. And so what we're seeing is this huge tidal wave of metabolic syndrome, you know, be it early metabolic syndrome, hyperinsulinemia, yeah. be it prediabetes, be it diabetes. Uh, and let's face it, that is largely a diet-driven phenomenon. You know, you can certainly have risky genes that make it more likely for you, but it's risky genes and lousy diet, and that sort of leads to that problem. And so that's now driving our current wave. Um, So, you know, the genetic things you talk about are always going to be there, but now we've laid this other stuff on top, right? Uh, And, you know, this is all these things that fall on from us, not just cardiovascular disease like plaque and heart attacks. But things like congestive heart failure, you know, dementia, like Alzheimer's dementia, has a very strong association with type 2 diabetes. Uh, you know, a lot of chronic inflammation associated with these things. Um, so we're, we're kind of actually stepping or, or have already stepped into this fairly frightening new world where, where there's, there's actually a, a, a worsening of our mortality trends for cardiovascular disease and an increase in prevalence. And it, and it feels like we're paddling uphill a lot of the time, you know? 